What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and we are continuing on the road to 2024 with a new uh, video here in my 2024 planner lookbook. This is a new playlist here on my channel. I've never done this before, but uh, in the weeks and months leading up to 2024, I am showing various planners out there, lots from small shops, lots that are new to me here on my channel so that you can see all the different planners out there. So I hope this is helpful for you in making your decision. Today's video is focused on Hemlock and Oak, Sweet Niblets, I looked over their Instagram page and I've seen kind of little videos pop up here and there and their products are beautiful. So I reached out to them and asked if they'd be interested in sharing their product with me so that I could show it off to you guys and that's what we're doing today. So this was sent to me by Hemlock and Oak. I will link uh, their, their website down below. It is not an affiliate link. I make no money off of those links. This is just sharing with you. Um, where you can find the product. So a little bit about Hemlock and Oak as we open this. This is a Canadian company. It is woman owned and their products are really, they're very elevated and beautiful and minimalist in design, but they're also in plastic free packaging. Everything is recyclable wherever possible. They use post-consumer waste to, uh, to assemble their products. And they, did I already say this? They use Canadian manufacturers. So they are really focused on keeping business in in their country and I really love that their goal long term is to be a zero waste and completely reliant company on post-consumer uh, waste and biodegradable products and manufacturing that is incredible so if you care about um, the environment if you care about sustainability especially for those of us as um, paper planners you know I have a lot of paper in this office and I do recycle it, but I also receive a lot of product that is not in recyclable packaging. So really cool that everything here can be recycled, though. I don't know if I want to recycle this box because it's so pretty. So let's get into it. A couple notes. I have two planners here. I have not flipped through them yet. So this will be my true first impressions. But I will say they sent me the undated planners. And that is because at the time they didn't have the dated planner. So if you are a dated planner person, this is still a good example of of what they offer. This is just the undated version. They also said they were going to send me them in colors that will be available in the dated. So if you like these colors in the undated, they should be on their website in the dated version as well. Let's just, um, this one looks a little heavier, so we'll open the bigger one first and see what, see what they got. Ooh. Oh, cute. Thank you, friend. You're absolutely wonderful. It's a cute little card. First, we have a notepad. So this is really great. They have additional stationary products. I know they have notebooks, washi tape, stickers, all in this really gorgeous, um, just simple aesthetic. You can tell that it's that kind of post-consumer waste product because it has what I really like. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and open this. But it has that nice, like, I want to say heathered look. You can see like little bits on it. It just feels incredibly luxurious and the paper quality is great. Not too thick, not too thin, really, really nice. So here's the Priority Flow notepad. So you've got a box for right now and then what you're gonna do right after, a later or urgent section, later, not urgent, and then brain dump. And what's cool is this is a flow, right? So you go from right now to right after, then you're later because it's urgent, later but not urgent, and then just an open brain dump space. I really like it. I've also really been liking more of a graph grid than a dot grid lately. So I think this is a little sneaky peek of the type of um, paper and grid paper we're going to have in here. So really nice notepad and packaging on here says made in Canada, 100% post-consumer waste paper, with renewable resources. I really like that. And I love that they're keeping their manufacturer in Canada. I just think it's really cool to kind of, yeah, employ your own people. That makes sense. All right, so I guess we are starting with the weekly planner. Oh my gosh, if this olive color, is this olive? I don't know what they call it on the website, but whatever it is, jade or green or, um, let's see, does it have the color on here? It doesn't, but here is your tech specs. So 6.35 by eight and a half, 80 pound paper, that's 120 GSM, 224 
pages printed on 100% recycled fibers and created with low impact renewable energy resources. I mean, look at how absolutely stunning this weekly planner is. And oh, I love the <laughs> I love the look of post-consumer waste paper. I just feel like it's beautiful. So I love seeing all of the flex on there. Really, really lovely. Nice fabric cover. This is undated weekly with gold foiling. And then look down here, it says weekly, which means I wonder if our daily is going to say daily. So imagine this sitting on your bookshelf or maybe on your nightstand. You've got your weekly and your daily right next to each other if you wanted it. Oh, it just feels really good, really well made. Let's get into it. Let me make sure y'all can see this okay. All right, I'm so, so excited for this. Here is our opening page. Oh, wow. The mighty oak was once an acorn that stood its ground. This is cool. It's kind of a book style. So this tells us exactly. So all these pages, all of these pages are numbered. That is awesome. So you've got an index for where you can find your weekly, where you can find your goals and your values. This is rad. So this is different. I've never seen anything quite like this. Hold on. Let me make sure. There we go. Ugh, I was folding it on the wrong spot. Hello, beautiful mind. Welcome to your pen on paper haven. Your personal sanctuary for reflection, creativity, and planning. Gosh, this is beautiful. A note before you begin. I'm not going to read through all of this, but whenever I get a new planner, I do like to take the time to play around with it. But here they talk about um, their values. Uh, they talk about um, what the different icons mean in the planner. Then we get into our personal values section. What moments in your life have been the most meaningful and fulfilling to you? You've got eight boxes here for that. What are you most proud of with that graph grid? What memories give you energy? What memories drain your energy? Even the aesthetic of the plus and the negative there is just a nice little symbol touch on there. And you can see down here uh, what the chapter is and the page. Personal values, we've got reflection pages for people that you respect or admire. What qualities do they have that you appreciate? Again, we've got boxes so you can put your, their names in it. I like these pomps. These are great. Imagine listening to a positive conversation about yourself in the future. What do you want to hear? You wake up to the best day ever tomorrow. What does it look like? Use the sense of smell, sound, taste, sight, and touch. This is really cool because we talk a lot about um, like putting together your ideal day and kind of getting that all mapped out and structured. This is a different kind of journaling way to ask that question. The best day tomorrow, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? I think that's a really great reflection. Personal values, identify five negative thoughts or beliefs you hold about yourself, reframe them into a neutral or positive statement. So you've got a box here for the negative thought or belief and then an arrow pointing to a new box and making it neutral or positive. Five statements about yourself that are positive and uplifting. Don't hold back. This is your space to honor and acknowledge the beautiful things about you. Personal values identification. Use your favorite highlighters, pens, pen, pens, markers, select words that stand out to you. And it's a master list of values. I'm doing this. I'm definitely doing this. I love this. Personal values identification. Are there any common themes in the words you've selected? Rank your top values and describe why you think they're important to you. There are no right or wrong choices. Focus on discovering and be open to change them as necessary. So you take your top five, write them down here, and then expand on why you think they're important to you. Then we have goal setting. So we had values and like personal statements. Then we get into goals. What is your goal? Why is it important to you and your values? Ah, making a connection between the goal and the values that you have. There should be a correlation there. What habits will you need on the journey? Three steps that will kickstart your journey. Brainstorm markers that will help you measure or identify your progress. Identify meaning, meaningful milestones. Again, we've got the boxes here. So what the uh, milestones will be and then how you would celebrate. And when will you review your journey and how often? I love that this is like a book. There are planning pages here. Just hold on. This is just the goal setting. Uh, what is um, setting goal? What is your goal? Why is it important? So these are um, repeating those pages so that you can have one goal per page. 
And then we move to habit cultivation. And I love that each new section has this really, this is really soft, smooth paper, by the way, but it has a nice kind of like title page with an explanation for what that section is about. So now we're into habit cultivation. What habit do you want to cultivate? What steps to cue the habit? Track your journey for one month and make observations. What barriers are you facing that make this difficult? Oh, you guys, I need this. What adjustments can you make so your journey is easier? Celebrate three positive aspects of your journey. What habit do you want to cultivate? What steps will cue that? Okay, so this is repeating. These are re repeat habits. And these are all additional habits. All right, daily framework. So, oh, this is so good. It is it is like a guided journal, right, at the front of your planner. Now that you understand your values, goals, and habits, plot out what a typical day might look like. Use this space to experiment with what could potentially work for your schedule and routines. So this is open graph grid. And then we have a time block from 6 to 1130. And you can kind of map out what your ideal day looks like. Then we have an open section here for important. Write down anything important you might need to reference throughout the year, such as mantras, quotes, addresses, um, addresses events, places you want to see, etc. And along the way, guys, at the bottom, you've got your header repeated down here so you can easily see it. And of course, your page numbers. Yearly planning, this is great. Now, if this is, if you purchase the dated one, I'm presuming that all of the months are going to be pre-populated with the numbers for uh, the days in the month. But because this is undated, I'm gonna have to date that myself. It looks like we've got some quotes up here as well. Here's your yearly planning pages. So again, it's undated, but the dated would have the month. And then you've got the dates. This is a really great page for adding maybe paydays or vacations, um, work schedule, birthdays, anniversaries, anything you want to see kind of all at a glance. Now we're getting into the planning pages. This is the monthly overview. Let me make sure you guys can still see that. Month of, and I'm guessing this would be dated, if you have the dated version. What boundaries will you set for yourself this month? List three ways that you can carve out time for self-care. What intentions do you have this month? What milestones are you focusing on? What habits do you want to cultivate this month? And then here's a tracker. The frequency of those habits, the cue and the reward. And then we have an open graph grid. This is going to repeat, I'm guessing, for 12 months. You're gonna do an overview for each month. So I like this. You've got your monthly pages all at the front. All the way at the front. We're still in monthlies. Now I can tell this will fold flat or stay flat if you work with it. So you got to just make sure that you're kind of pressing it down as you go. All right. So there are your monthly overviews or monthly reviews. Then we're going to flip the page and see the monthly calendars. Oh, this is so good. I love this. Graph grid, totally open, minimalist design, love the sans serif font. You can add your month up here, and then this is just a long task list. Task list going down the margin. So pretty, so this is undated, so of course I'm gonna have to date it. But we're going to have all of our monthlies at the front. So we go from the monthly overview to the monthly calendars. And then we get to the weekly planning on page 100. So 100 pages in, we are now at our weekly planning. This is beautiful. Now, this is an hourly layout. So we've got 6 a.m., to 10 and beyond. This is all open down at the bottom, so you can plan later into the evening if you want to. Really lightly, you can see a little kind of heart um, heart icon that is for like fitness stats, if you wanna put that there, any health and wellness stats. We've got a focus section, intention section, and then a task list. And if you're a decorative planner, there is plenty of space here to decorate. You can decorate down here. You can plan down here. You can put quotes down here. Uh, if your day doesn't start until a little bit later, you can decorate up here. And if you don't want to use an hourly layout, you can just disregard these columns altogether and you just plan vertically. So whatever works for you, 
let's jump all the way through. So we've got all of our weekly planning. Let's see if there's anything at the end. Yes. Yay. This is rad. Year end review. This is great. So year end review. Identify five memories from the last year that you want to cherish. Who or what are you grateful for in the last year and why? We've got the open box and then graph grid underneath. How have your values changed in the last year? Has their importance shifted? Year end review reflection. What are you proud of in the last year? Identify three challenges that you faced in the last year. How did you grow from them and what did you learn? Write down three positive things about yourself from last year. And then year end looking ahead. What vision do you see for yourself in the future? What do you want to change? Three steps you can get closer to that vision. Use the space below to create a bucket list of things you want to do, places you want to see, and the people you want to spend time with in the future. And then we have just a bunch of grid pages. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. The dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. Robert Frost. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now, I do want to point out there are bookmarks here. Incredibly helpful. How many do we get? We get two. So if you want to mark your weekly page, you can do that. And then if you wanted to mark your goals, or let's say you want to mark your monthly, you can mark your monthly as well. How lovely is that? Wow, this is beautiful. I knew I was going to like this just based off of the images I was seeing, but this is even, this is probably the nicest book bound planner I have ever seen. Absolutely lovely. Let's take a look at the other planner they sent me. And I like that this is undated because I really want to try it right now. And I don't have to wait until January. That is one of the positives about that. So, ooh, look at this. This is gorgeous. This is like a lavendery um, purple which I think I saw on the website, I saw this color and it was um, called Wisteria, I wanna say. This is a daily planner, six months. So obviously if it's a page per day, then it's not going to be able to, uh, yeah, it's a little bit bigger already just because of, of the daily pages. So it's only gonna hold six months. So here's your six month daily. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Love this. Hemlock and Oak undated daily. And as suspected, we've got that on the, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm drawing a on the spine here. Hemlock and Oak on the back. Now let's see. Ugh, see, I just love this recycled paper look. It's so pretty. So let's take a look. We're gonna have the same uh, index here information before you begin. Now, all of this is going to be the same, the personal values and habit cultivation, daily framework. Now, because this is a six month, your kind of long-term range planning is gonna be six months instead of 12. So you've got your six months of planning here and then your six months at a glance. The vertical view this is the same as the other layout but um just six months instead you've got your monthly overview this is going to be the same now i did see on their website there is a dated version of this planner that i think doesn't have the goal setting mindset type things at the front it's a it's a slimmed down planner i cannot remember what it's called but <clears throat> if you wanted something a little bit um not as thick then um you might want to look at the more simplified planner. So we've got our monthly reviews. We've seen these. We've got our uh, monthly layout. That's going to be the same. Let's get to the dailies. Here is our daily. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. So here is our daily planning page. So it's one sheet. You have your date. Now, because this is undated, we've got an open box. And then we've got the days of the week up at the top so you can highlight it or circle it. We've got a space for intentions. Our schedule is different. Now, we had an, a 6 a.m. start on the weekly. Here it actually starts at 5 a.m. and it goes until 11 a.m. So you've got a space for your schedule. And then nice wide section for today with your tasks. 
lots and lots of space. This is a decorator's dream if you want to incorporate some journaling. Because this is a book bound book, obviously, if you add a ton of stickers, then it's going to bulk up and be kind of harsh on the spine. But um, this would be really great for stamping given the thickness of the paper. So I've been trying to get into stamping lately and that this might be something that I um, use stamps in so that I can get that decorative element without adding a lot of bulk to the pages. So really clean and beautiful daily planning pages. Just lovely. I love it. Some people feel a bit overwhelmed with daily planning. I know that I do, but I think I need it in my life. I need a little bit more structure. And um, when I feel like I'm spiraling, <laughs> I need a piece of paper to just get everything out. And this gives me a space every day to uh, kind of brain dump. So I really, really like that. So we're going to get through the daily planning pages. Oh, let's stop with the page finders or bookmarks. We've got two of those here. So you can mark your month and your day if you want to. Let's go all the way to the back. And same thing, you're doing a six month reflection and review. And then you've got space to look ahead. And then how many pages? Less pages of the just blank grid paper. I think that's because this is already bigger because it's um, six months of daily. So a little bit less on the pages, but the idea would be you'd probably migrate into the next six month planner and have more pages there. Absolutely stunning. What do you guys think of Hemlock and Oak? Oh my goodness. I just feel like this is an experience. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love what they represent, what the company represents. Um, and I'm like rooting for them. Do you know what I mean? Like I love supporting small shops, small businesses, and especially when they're doing good things with sustainability and um, hiring manufacturers in their own country. I think that's really rad. So um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm not a hemlock and oak expert, but I might become one because these are really lovely. And I want to get, I haven't decided um, which one I want to get into first. I might want to get into the, I was thinking daily, but I might want to get into the weekly first and maybe jump because it's undated one you could start at any time and two especially a positive with the daily is you can skip pages if you want and because the um or skip days because the months <coughs> excuse me are separate <coughs> excuse me because the months are separate from the dailies you're not going to have a bunch of unused pages so you know you have you fill in your monthlies and then you just use these as you need them do you know what i mean so if you needed more space from the weekly, you can jump over to your daily and you've got a full page because it's consecutive. I mean, they're just blank dailies. They're not dated or anything. So, you know, if I use it on a Monday one week and then I don't use it for two weeks, I can still, you know, just go to the next open daily. So I think that's really handy to kind of have this to use it when you need it. I love that. All right, friends, uh, I will link Hemlock and Oak down below. Again, they're not affiliate links. I'm just a new fan and um, want to make sure you can access them if you are interested. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is EJJoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to see more from me, I'm a decorative planner and stationary lover. Uh, if you want to see more from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. And of course, if you want to see more 2024 planners, then make sure you're following along my 2024 planner lookbook. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. I'll see you in my next video.